Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, DRox is here. Now, a lot of you from my last how-to when you set up your Dazzle and the Pinnacle Studio, I've getting now a lot of questions of basically when you hook up the Dazzle to the computer, oh, I'm getting an error, I'm getting runtime this, or, and I can't seem to find the capture button. Okay, first off, again, my Dazzle here is a D VC 100. I don't know if there's different types, if there's different slacks, if there's different kinds. I have no clue. Okay, but now, as you can see, I got the Street Fighter running. My Dazzle is hooked up to my PS3. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys, basically, from this here, what to do when you want to capture the video. Let's go into here. I'm just going to do a quick instant replay and what I'll do is I will link this uh, battle log or instant replay to another channel this one here probably so go ahead and click that if you want to see the outcome of what it looks like but I don't think that'll be too big of a too big of a deal too big of an instance okay I'm gonna pick one of these here doesn't matter which one and now before I start hooking before I start playing it now, my computer's sitting right here. What I will do is, I will go and start up my Pinnacle. Now, I have Pinnacle Studio 14, or Pinnacle Studio Hold D Ultimate. I don't know, again, if there's a difference between the two. If you have Pinnacle 12, if you have Pinnacle whatever, I don't know if there's a difference. I don't know if this plays a crucial role in how things work with your Dazzle, or whatever the case may be but this is what I do and this is how it works for me and it works very easy there's nothing complicated really about this so I hope that this tutorial helps you guys in any shape or form now I got my pinnacle here but the important thing is here look here to the top I don't know if you have this for people that have pinnacle 12 or whatever the case may be you click import I'm not clicking it right now but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the Dazzle to the computer. Dazzle is in. And what I do is click import. See it says loading studio import. Takes a second. You'll get this extra screen here. This extra screen is just when you're importing things from one to another. There's no concern about that. And basically, it comes up for all people that use uh, import. Now, this is the most important thing here. This is where it says import from. This is where, in a few moments, the Dazzle is going to show up. It takes a second, so don't panic if you don't see it right away. See? There it is. It'll come up DVC 100. All you have to do from there... Click it. You'll get these two options. Video as video comp site. And the screen should come up. Basically, now you're seeing the exact same thing that's on my television. That's on a Dazzle. It's showing the exact same thing. For the people over here, I keep it right on that. I don't fiddle with any of these things. You can if you want to. You can put it on MPEG, which is no problem. Or you can take the scene deletion and cut that off. It's no big deal. That's nothing to worry about. The most important thing here is you get this part running. If you get this running, you should be in good, relatively good shape. Now for me, I set all my film in 16.9. And for those again that didn't see that, I apologize. You go right here to this little thing here. It says more settings. Click that and you'll get this screen. 14.3 is for normal size like that. And 16.9 is for like that. I pretty much run with 16.9 and I also run in PAL. I don't know about the rest of the world, but that's what I do. Now for the person or persons that said that they could not find the capture button, it's right there. That's not really hard to find. Okay. Now we're going to, I'm going to start this little replay here and see what happens but before we do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click start 
Start capture. Right at this moment in time right now, it's capturing the film. You can see it right there. And the timer is running. So right now, it's, it's recording this time. So we'll go ahead and start this, this replay here. We'll show you what happens. And like I said before, what I'll do is I'll link this instant replay to the actual video. It's between me and another guy, but I mean, again, that's not important. So you see that there, it's running the exact same thing. I wish I could, maybe I should back up and just, that way you can see it. You can see it move for move. You can see it there on the TV as I point with my feet, sorry. And on the dazzle as well too, probably. You can't see it because of the glare in the sun. But th th that's it, guys. There's nothing really complicated to this. If you have any more issues, any more questions or anything, I will try my best to help you. But again, as I said in my other previous vid, I'm not a pro, but this was pretty much easy. If you can go online and read up on it, it's self-explanatory. I don't have anything with run quick or run error. I don't have to deal with anything of that sort. And I don't believe you should either. But and just take a look online and see what that is and, and see what the problem is, okay? The next thing that I'm probably going to do is I'm going to work out the quality because I've been having some quality issues when I do playback. When I actually upload these to YouTube, it's kind of sketchy. So as you can see here, it looks awesome, but it doesn't look the same exact thing as I see on, my tele on, on the replay. Sorry. So that'll be the next how-to tutorial. If I get enough comments, guys, let me know what's going on. Please comment, subscribe. If you got any questions or anything, just let me know, and I will try my best to answer them to the best of my knowledge, okay? Guys, I want to thank you for taking time out on how to, and I will see you next time. Bye.